Our world is divided in half into the haves, the have-nots, and the don't-knows. The haves, like the Prince of Charles and Sting, are wealthy, but the have-nots, like the starving and whatever the opposite of Sting is, need our help. And we can help, with the help of an invention known as charity. In one of the less boring bits in the Bible, Jesus tells the story of the Good Samaritan who selflessly helped a stranger in need when others had walked on by, probably while pretending to look at their phones or whatever the equivalent of phones was in Bible times. If you ignore all these bastards, the most popular face of modern compassion is charity pin-up Mother Teresa, a 20th century nun who devoted her life to helping those in need. Mother Teresa said, give, but give until it hurts, which is possibly the sexiest thing a nun's ever said, apart from in rude films. But even Mother T's achievements pale into insignification compared to those of someone even more saintly, Bob at Geldof. It was 1985 when St. Bob at Geldof changed the giving game forever by organising the biggest charity concert of all time, Live Aid. One of the reasons Live Aid was successful was that Live Aid was easy to say. Before then, almost all charities had hard to pronounce names. They were called things like Rinib, Ruspica, Ruspaba and Nuspakuka. Luckily, it wasn't long until a charity came along with a name that was very easy to say. Comic Relief. And it was a huge success from the very beginning. It's time for Comic Relief. <laughs> 1988 saw the first ever Red Nose Day, an event in which celebrities appeared on TV with huge smiles and red noses, just like they did in the Groucho Club toilets. Comic Relief. But why do celebrities give up the time and ask nothing in return in a way that people who actually need to be paid could never do. What's the point of charity? To find out, I sat down with Cormac Relief co-founder and rom-com mogul Richard Curtins. First of all, do I call you Richard or do you prefer Dick? Yeah, no, Richard will... Richard's good. If we give starving people a load of money, how do we know they're not just going to go out and blow it all on food? If you're dealing with something like famine, you're always dealing through an intermediary who will be making sure the right food reaches the right people. Do you have to be careful about people that might have, like, peanut allergies? Because some people haven't tried nuts before, have they? That's a very interesting issue, whether or not peanut allergies are a sort of first-world problem. Mm. Um, I don't know, what an interesting thought. Mm, thank you. Which is better, chugging or writing rom-coms? It's chugging, asking for money on the... Charity thing. mugging, yeah. yeah. I, I think the outcome, the result of chugging is better because it actually helps, you know, people whose lives are hard, whereas um, I don't know if rom-coms do do that. I think you're being very modest. I think they make people realise that there's lots of posh people that quite funny. Have you thought about just selling celebrities, you know, for their organs? Because I'm sure someone would pay a fortune for, like, John Bishop's kidneys. Uh, no, we haven't thought of that, and I think that the comedians do quite a lot for us sometimes that they don't want to do, and I suspect the sale of bodily parts would be slightly more than they or their representatives would. It'd be a talking point, though, wouldn't it, if you had John Bishop's kidneys? It would be a slightly morbid talking point if John was no longer alive. Mm. I killed John Bishop. Did be... you? No, 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 I'm just saying I killed John Bishop would be a odd talking point. What's the most disgusting thing you've heard someone do with a red nose? Because my mate Paul, he, he did this party trick that he always does with a red nose, and he put it sort of on his intimate skin and it sort of tore it and it went septic. Actually, I think that might mean he qualifies, qualifies for some sort of charity money. That is the first and most disgusting thing I've heard done with a red nose. It's awful, isn't it, to think what people might be doing with them right now. Cormac Relief reminds us that we can't leave charity up to knobs like Sting. It's up to all of us to be knobs together. 
people like you and me, putting our hands in our pockets and hoping there's money in there. And if not, maybe donating the actual pocket or your whole trousers. Next time on Moments of Wonder, I'll be asking, how much are new trousers?